Hi guys, welcome to unit nine, week two. All right, so last week we worked on coming up with your speech um, worksheet and we sort of identified the three soft skills that we were gonna focus on in this presentation. So this week what we're gonna do is write your outline. So when we are engaging in presentational speaking, we do a lot of the hard work in advance of the actual speech. So you'll essentially craft two types of outlines, one which is a formal outline or a preparation outline. This is a kind of almost like a paper that's been broken down into sections. So a lot of times when students hear outline, they sort of think keywords. So this is a more formal outline. It is kind of the best version of your speech. You are going to create note cards from your outline for your actual presentation. Those note cards will just be keywords. So likely the presentation that you give will not be word for word what's on your outline and that's okay. So the outline just helps us organize our thoughts and helps us sort of see that we have enough content um, to present and speak from. So that's all we're gonna be doing this week. I'm gonna go through how to write this outline. I'm also gonna point out this really good example. This particular video goes through each section of a speech and will kind of thoroughly explain what you need to have in each section. So I highly recommend looking at that. <clears throat> okay, so to create your outline, you are gonna click on this template. I have created a template for you so that you don't have to do the hard work. So we're gonna make a copy of this. I'm gonna walk you through a few sections of this. Okay, so the first thing you will want to put in is a title and we'll say something like um, soft whoop, skills for, I'll just put in my own profession. Okay, and then the general purpose, we, this is highlighted in your book, but you have three general purposes of public speaking to inform, persuade, or entertain. For this particular speech, we are informing our audience about your soft skills. So your general purpose is just to inform. Your specific purpose is a longer extension of that. It identifies your topic. So inform my audience about the three soft skills for teaching. So just put in there whatever it is your future career might be. Okay, and then you will see the sections of the speech. You have your introduction, the body of your speech, and the conclusion. So the first thing I would probably do is go through and identify your soft skills. So these can just be in keywords. So let's say for something, it's like, oh, I didn't mean to... We'll say one is communication. Another could be, um, I don't know. Let's see, teaching, we need communication. We need, um, ooh, let's say critical thinking. Yada, yada, okay. And then throw in your third one there. So then under the body, we always write the body first because then we can go back in and fill in the introduction and conclusion. So where you see the supporting material, this is going to be full sentences and you are gonna write this exactly as you would say it. So for example, and here we're gonna define the soft skill. The soft skill of communication means, and then insert here. So this should be a couple of sentences. You can see there's two different pieces of supporting material. So at least, you know, a couple of sentences, short paragraphs here. Um, the second part, discuss what you've learned about this soft skill, your aptitude and why it's important, and then how it's beneficial to your specific profession. So a couple of sentences for each of these. And you're gonna do the same thing through here. So again, supporting material should be in your own words and it should be full sentences. Nothing in here should be copy and pasted. If you do use sources, you can include them down here, um, but you don't necessarily have to use sources for this piece. You've done a lot with soft skills in this class, so you might not need them. But if you're like pulling a definition for a particular soft skill, make sure to cite it here and then put it in your own words. Okay, so that's how the body of this speech is gonna look. So now I'm gonna go over to transitions. Transitions are just statements that let us know we're moving from one point to a next. So we're gonna make this really easy. We're gonna use signposts, which are essentially number language. So first we will discuss the soft 
I cannot type this morning. Soft skill of communication. Okay. We're going to just go down here. Second, we will discuss the soft skill of critic thinking. And then third, whatever your soft skill is there. Okay. So you literally can just copy these and then insert your own soft skills here. So these help us sort of delineate the main points. So it's really helpful for your audience to know that you're moving on to the next main point with the use of transitions. So super easy. Okay. So introduction, your attention getting statement. This should be some sort of question to the audience or a statistic, some way to introduce the soft skills. Um, this should not be, hi, my name is, or I'm going to talk to you today about blank. So instead, you're going to say something like, have you ever considered becoming a teacher? Okay, that's a very simple question to the audience. Not a lot there, but pretty easy. Statement of credibility. So why are you qualified to speak on this topic? Well, I might put, I have, you know, 12 years of teaching experience in higher ed. And I could also put, if you don't have experience in your field, that you are very interested in this field. You have done lots of research over the last, I don't know, couple of months in this class on your particular career field, especially after unit eight. So you could put that in there, but a sentence or two that just describes why you are qualified to speak on this topic. All right, then your thesis. Um, thesis can be very simple. So we are going to say something like soft skills are essential for becoming an effective teacher. Okay. And again, you can pretty much copy that and just incorporate your particular future field. And then a preview of main points. Today, I will tell you about three soft skills required for teaching, and then just list them here. Okay. So your introduction, again, you're going to introduce your topic with some sort of question, statistic, quote, whatever you want to do. Um, just make sure, again, it's not, hi, my name is, and the, your topic. You want to have some sort of lead-in. Your topic should be apparent from all of these things. Statement of credibility, a sentence or two about why you're qualified to speak on this topic. Your thesis, again, you can use this and just insert your own future career. And then your preview of main points, which will tell us the three soft skills we're going to be learning about. And then your conclusion is super easy. Restate your thesis. So you just use past tense language. Today, we have learned the soft skills needed to be an effective teacher. Then you're going to recap your main points. We've discussed blank, blank, and blank, and then some sort of final thought. So something like, if you plan to go in this field, I hope you will consider honing these three soft skills. Again, it can be something super simple, but a way to end your speech. All right. And then lastly, like I said, if you use any sources, make sure to list them here. So this shouldn't take you an exhaustive amount of time, um, and it should, you know, be a page and a half. It's given, you know, again, in that template. So all you have to do is go in here and fill it out. If you follow along the steps in this video, you will get a good score. Um, if you have questions, let me know. But other than that, it should be pretty easy. Then when you're finished with this, what you're going to do is find a note card, or you can take a piece of paper and fold it in half and use that as a note card. And then you're going to recreate this outline in keywords on your note card so that you can speak from it. So I do look very carefully at videos to make sure that students aren't reading either from a paper or from their screen. It's very obvious when that happens. So please make sure to make note cards and utilize them in your presentation um, so that that does not happen to you. All right. If you have questions, let me know. Other than that, good luck.